Hello everybody, welcome back to Short Shot Archery and today I'm going to take you on a little tour of Samix Archery Booth at the 2018 ATA show. So first, uh, you know, here's a little uh, nice overview of the booth and then we are just going to go through uh, some of the bows they have. Um, we're going to be focusing on the Olympic recurve of course, but I am going to mention they did have a nice collection of more traditional uh, one-piece bows. They range from like a really traditional Korean bow all the way through like single-piece recurves and even looks like there's like a long bow mixed in there. Now I'm no bare bow master so I could be getting some of these wrong but they do look like some really nice uh, traditional bows. So now let's take a look at the first Olympic recurve bow they have and that is the Avanti. Um, real quick, it's available in right-handed only. It's 25 inches and it weighs 1,220 grams. Also, this bow is aluminum, but it is a uh, cast. Now, the next bow I looked at is this white one here, and this is the Ideal. Uh, this bow does come in right and left-handed, so that's a nice bonus. And it's available in the 25-inch riser length. Just like the Avanti, it is also aluminum die cast. And uh, they were running some impress uh, Samic limbs on it as well. I did end up taking a closer look at it. I took it off the stand. Um, it did have a plastic grip, but it, is, it, it seems to be like a reasonably built uh, beginner's bow. Now for all of these bows, I didn't really have any like hands-on stuff. And this is just like real initial impressions. But for the most part... All their equipment seem, you know, pretty pretty decent. I don't know, like, price-wise where it's sitting at. But depending on the price, obviously, it's going to, uh, you know, really dictate if that's, like, a really good value or not. But they did have a, you know, a pretty good offering on the entry-level, like, bows. I just don't know, like, if it's a real entry-level price. I'm guessing so, based on my perception and how I perceive, like, the quality of the bows. For the most part, they seem pretty good quality. Here is a look at another ideal riser. Uh, this time it's in gray. A very, very glossy uh, finish on these. Uh, which, you know, not necessarily a bad thing. But uh, it's just something I noticed, like, immediately. Nice uh, look at the uh, limb bolt and where your limb clicks in. Also, I had some very short risers here. And these really short risers were for their Discovery bow. So this is kind of like a competitor for the Hoyt Buffalo. So for that uh, takedown hunting market. Their high-end Olympic recurve bow is going to be the Ultra X. So there's one in red and then there's one in uh, gray. The, the finish on these was pretty cool because it was like a metallic, but at the same point in time, it was kind of like a like a less glossy, it was like a matte metallic finish. It was it was kind of wild. Other than that, this riser comes in at 1,210 grams. They are available in right and left-handed, bonus, and the riser comes in 25 inch length. They also had a wood grip, which was nice to see. Some people like the, the feel of the wood grip a lot more than the plastic, and then you can kind of do more with the wood in a way sometimes it's easier to put like putty and stuff on it if you're looking to like mold it to fit your hand better this riser is also aluminum but it is milled out on a cnc machine and not die cast so this riser is being made from a solid like uh, billet of aluminum and then they're cutting out the riser from it after that i took a look at some of samix other products they had a few accessories and one of them was a samix site uh, called the Ideal. Of course it's made in right and left handed. It weighs 195 grams and it's completely made out of aluminum. Next up we have some plungers. Uh, you know, pretty you know, basic design, yes. They were pretty streamlined looking and uh, it could be a good option as a first plunger. Of course I have not uh, tested this out. They also had some limbs on hand. So these ones, of course, are the Samic Extremes. Um, some nice looking limbs. Uh, they had two different sets here, so this was the first one. Here is the second set. Oh, 
overall, it was really great to visit the Samick booth. Uh, they had a you know a lot of products that were out for display that you can pick up, check out, uh, and as you can see in, in this clip, they had some fully assembled Olympic Greek Kerbos, stabilizers, sights, everything. So that was really nice to see, and it's nice to see some other companies you know working on you know their product lines and you know just products for the Olympic recurve industry. And that wraps up this video on the Samic booth at the 2018 ATA show. Now this was a great experience. The staff at Samic were really helpful and very friendly. So that was a really cool experience. Hopefully I'll be able to see them there again next year and maybe I'll be able to try out some things if they get a shooting booth. Um, but we'll see. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, happy shooting.